Good morning, everyone. I hope all of you guys are having a great day and just enjoying a wonderful morning of fellowship with each other, wherever you might be. And uh, all of y'all are praising and worshiping our Lord and our Savior, Jesus. Now, I come to you guys again this morning fairly woozy, so I've got my lovely assistant over here. Say hello, lovely assistant. There she is uh, to, to catch me in case I I get a little bit woozy, but we'll just see how that goes. But uh, about 2005, I had the privilege of going on a trip to Scotland with the Global Missions Group. You know, we took a big band and some singers and we stayed in the Glasgow area for about 10 days. You know, we practiced it beforehand and worked hard to get ready. And then a surprise came. My director told all of us that we needed to be ready to tell the story of how we came to know Christ as our Savior, and we needed to keep it under five minutes. Now, under five minutes? I, I can't hardly return a text in under five minutes. But I did practice, and anyway, we got to Scotland, and I immediately got another surprise. Instead of playing with the big band the next morning on Sunday, I was going to lead a little small brass quintet at a little small church in Glasgow. Well, when we got to the church, we met the people and they were so friendly. They just loved on us and uh, then they told us that we were the first thing on the order that morning. So we uh, went up on the stage and we played a few songs and then the pastor stopped us. And he told me that he wanted to hear about me and how I came to know Christ. And he said to take all the time that I wanted that they wanted to know everything. <laughs> wow, that was, that was no pressure on me. But uh, anyway, I stepped up to the mic and I told them about my life before Christ and how I came to ask Jesus to be my Lord and then my life since uh, then. And guess what? It only took a little bit more than six minutes. And God provided the words that I needed for the situation and helped me to be comfortable telling my story. You know, all of that time I spent worrying and all those miles away from home, and God made it as easy as talking to you guys to tell my story. After all, it was my story to be telling. You know, I encourage all of you to watch for opportunities to share your story of accepting Christ as your Savior, and God will be right there to help you with that story. Now, the hymn I have for y'all today goes right along with this. It's called, I Love to Tell the Story.
I hope you guys have a blessed day today and the Lord just leads y'all uh, to a wonderful time.